here we are at the bottom of the rabbit hole, climbing our way out. Luckily, we've stopped digging. Check it so out. So after removing all the uh, steering and everything, I had to drop the old suspension, the old springs and shocks, and ended up dropping the whole front axle, and then ended up stripping the entire axle, and basically rebuilding the whole thing. Seals, axles, hubs, everything has been clean, painted. Pulled the carrier out and put a lunchbox locker in there. That's a uh, power track, no slip. You can see I've already got the bump stop started for the new metal cloak suspension kit. All new ball joints going in, new seals in the tube. Tube's been cleaned, axle's been painted, and it's in place. Control arms are, uh, are now attached, and it's time to put the springs in. Well, there it is. Got most of the, uh, the hard part done on the front end. The axle's in, springs are in all the uh the arms are in that was that was hard holy shit you know, I, don't, I don't say that on here too often but man that was probably tougher than mating the engine or tougher than uh you know mating the transmission when i had that out so yeah that was a fight it took me a while but um man it's a good thing you didn't have to watch that whole thing i'll tell you that much all right so for the axle seals uh there there's two of them and they're um they're internal right here so the only way to replace the seals which look like this or ow oh. ow oh. oh that wasn't fun uh stupid light fell and hit me in the nose uh, we'll try this again so where we're at with the front end, um, I'm at the point where I can start building up my axle again. It's all stripped down and everything's been overhauled, so to speak. I got my new shocks and springs in and uh, the new control arms and everything's been cleaned and painted and now it's getting all new seals and all new parts. So let's see if we can do this. That's the seal. Might be hard to see, but uh, it's a spicer. It's a spicer part. Anyways, got the seal tool. Seal fits over the end like that. And then it fits in like that. I'll give you a better view in a second. You spread the tool out and run the nut down. Try to. Here we go let me show you so you can see right there the new seal is be is um it's right there it's ready to be driven into place and this tool just kind of pushes on the opposite side and by tightening that nut it just drives the seal in so let's do it Check it out. Back the jam nut off. And that looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's do the other side. Brand new seals. All right, so I got my front axle in. I got the shocks in. I got my uh, bump stops all set for now. Springs are in. Shocks, like I said. The axle, I don't know if you can see in there, but the seals are in. So now I can start thinking about putting the uh, 
the axle shafts back in, which just got new, um, new U joints. Well, thanks for watching. As always, uh, click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, definitely didn't plan to go this far with the uh, front axle, the front end, but I think in the end it'll be worth it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing back together and check back with you guys later.